heart and your life as personal Savior. Amen. I had this rabbi wrapped around my ring finger. <laughs> and I backed off because I have mercy. Riff can tell you. I used to go on Channel 2 and debate the rabbis. And the rabbis would sit there. I still have the tape somewhere, if you're interested. Oh, yes. yes. The rabbi would sit there with the beard, the whole chai. He said, you think you're a traitor, you're a mishima, you accept Christ? <laughs> I said, rabbi. I says, I says, all the Jewish people heard him gladly and so on and so on. And I said, I don't want to use the Talmud. If we're going to debate on Channel 2, I said, let's stick to the scriptures. And he would constantly quote the Torah, the Talmud. I said, Rabbi, why are you always quoting the Talmud? Let us stick only to the Torah. He wouldn't. He kept going to the Talmud. So in the end, I said to him, okay, look, yes or no, am I Jewish? I want to know, am I Jewish or am I a traitor? He goes, the, Torah, the Talmud says, the, the Talmud says this, and says, it says, yes, you, I says, he says, you're not, you're not Jewish because you uh, left the Jewish faith and you accepted Jesus. I said, I accepted Yeshua. So he said, so in other words, I'm not Jewish. I said, Rabbi, for 20 minutes you've been using the Talmud. Now it's my turn. I'm going to use the Talmud. Yes, Rabbi, is this true? Every word. Now it's my turn to use the Talmud, since you insist on using the Talmud. The Talmud says that if a Jew is a heretic and he and he, he, he apostatizes, he's still a Jew. Oh, wow. So according to you, I apostatized when I accepted Yeshua, but according to the, your Talmud, which I don't believe in, the writings of the rabbis, I am still a Jew. You should have seen him turn into the white knight. <laughs> run! Run! Because he insisted on using the Talmud. I said, okay, fine. The Talmud says this. <laughs> that I'm still wow. a Jew. Even though a person can be an apostate, once a Jew, always a Jew. So I caught him in his own book with the Talmud. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. We have that on tape if you're interested. Yes. Amen. I've debated several rabbis, more than I care to remember. Even on the streets of New York. <laughs> if we can tell you, she was there for all the time. So the bottom line is this, all have sinned and no one has guarded the covenant correctly. Mm -hmm. We all need a savior for all the parts of the Torah for that we broke and even that the Jewish people broke. There is nothing automatic in the covenant, in the Tanakh or the Brit Chadashah, there is nothing automatic. And we must accept the terms. The problem is no one can keep the terms perfectly. So it's not the covenant that saves. It is keeping the terms of the covenant perfectly. Problem is, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of Yahweh. So that Yahweh never said trying the best we can is good enough. We are called to perfection. Nothing else will do. Thus, perfection that cannot be found in ourselves and in our meeting the terms of the covenant must be found in someone who perfectly met the terms of the covenant of both the Torah and the Brit Chadashah. And we go to Yochanan 10, and we, this is final close. Can I hear a good amen? Does anyone enjoy? Amen. Amen. The truth will set you free. Amen. You'll know the truth. Amen. And the truth will set you free. Yes, and error will put you in bondage. Yochanan chapter 10. Now watch this. Amen, amen, I say to you. There it is, verse 1. He that enters not by the door, Yeshua said, I am the door, Yochanan 14, 6. He that enters not by the way, the truth, the life, or the door, into the sheepfold, but climbs up any other derech, some other derech, mm -hmm. even Judaism, the same becomes a thief yeah, and a robber. Amen. He that enters in by the door, not a door, the door, definite article, is the shepherd of the sheep. So the door is the shepherd. Mm -hmm. To him and him alone, the doorkeeper opens to the shepherd. And the sheep hear his voice. He calls his sheep by name and leads them out. Verse 7. Yeshua said to them again, Amen, Amen. Once for the house of Ephraim and once for the house of Judah. We see here in verse um, 1 and verse 7. Two calls, Amen, Amen. 
I am the door. Verse 7, Yeshua said, Amen, Amen, I am the door. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them, and the sheep should not hear them. Do you understand what he's saying? I don't think so. I don't think so. Were the Jewish Babylonian leaders around before Yeshua? Mm -hmm. Did the Jewish Sanhedrin rule the people before Yeshua? Yes. Now watch what Yeshua said. All, All who came before me. Did Buddha come before Yeshua? Nope. Yes. Did Confucius come before Yeshua? Were the Jewish leaders around before you show up? Oh, yeah. In, in context? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, look, there's a few, and there's a few who are not righteous. Is that what he said? A few tov and a few oh. low tov. Oh. All, all the doors of salvation who came before me are thieves and robbers because they're not entering themselves, or worse than that. They're not letting you. They give you a paper that says, welcome, you've converted, but they haven't given you the guarantee of eternal life. Let me tell you why I do what I do. Let me tell you why I sit here week after week with a small group of people when I could have many, many other opportunities in ministry to do different things. Because I serve Him. I serve Him. Faithful to Him. Because I, offer, I don't know any other doors to offer you. I don't know any other opportunities or side gates into heaven. I am called to proclaim him because only Yeshua has kept the terms. Jewish people think they keep the terms of the covenant when all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh. Amen. And so to think that they keep the terms and that if they do the best they can, they're in. Yeshua said, no. He said, don't do the best you can. He said, be perfect. Well, I can't. Bingo. Now you're in the game. And that's why you need Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Who can give you imparted perfection. perfection. Imparted righteousness. Mm -hmm. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.